Hey everyone, today we have something super exciting to our folks, the Robo Key Kit. Are you ready to dive in and explore all the amazing components inside? So let's get started. First, take a look inside the box. You will see Robo Key and two sensors here. Now let's break down what each part does and how it works. This is Robo Key, the programmable device which is at the heart of our kit. It's designed to help to understand how to write a code and bring your ideas to life. RoboKey comes with two RGB LEDs right here. They can light up in any color you want. Next, we have two switches on both sides of RoboKey, switch 1 and switch 2. These switches can be programmed to control various functions in your projects. Imagine turning lights on and off or activating a motor with just a flip, flip of a switch. Look at these external ports on the RoboKey. They allow you to connect external sensors. With these, you can expand the capabilities of your project by adding new inputs and outputs. The possibilities are endless. Here we have four sets of pins to connect the motors. There are different type of motor connectors. The three pin connectors are for servo motors and the two pin connectors are for DC motors. This gives you the flexibility to choose the right motor for your project. At the bottom, there are two buttons. The one on the right is the power button. This button lets you turn the RoboKey on or off. Next on my left, we have another button called MD button. This button is super useful. It lets you change the modes on the RoboKey. Plus, if you ever need to erase the program or reset the device, you just need to press this button. Handy, right? RoboKey can be powered in two ways. There is a USB Type-C port at the top and at the bottom there is a power pin to connect external power source to power up RoboKey. But the one we have has an inbuilt battery so it actually turned on when we press the power button. There is one more type of RoboKey that doesn't have an inbuilt battery. Hence we use an external battery which will be connected to this power pin to power up the RoboKey. Now let's check out the two sensors in the kit. These are the rain sensors, also known as the proximity sensors. They can detect object nearby. Imagine creating a project where Roboki can stop or change direction when it senses something in the path. How cool is that? But how do we connect these sensors to Roboki? That's where these angle connectors come in. We can connect the sensors to Roboki using these angle connectors. We also have motors in the box. Motors are fantastic for adding movement to your project. Whether you want to spin a fan or drive a car, these motors will get the job done. Next up, we have two different sizes of blocks of your models. You can create sturdy frames and bases for your projects. We also have two different sizes of beams, one larger beam and two smaller beams. These beams are great for constructing the model structure. Next, check out these wheels. If you want to build a car or any moving models, these wheels will come in handy. Just attach them to your project and you are ready to roll. Similarly, we have a caster socket and a pom pom to make another type of wheel which is a caster wheel. Lastly, we have axles and two types of pegs. The axles connect components to the motor allowing them to rotate. We have a friction pegs and 90 degree pegs which help connect the beams and blocks together securely. With these, you can create stable and flexible connections for your models. We also have a pin connector and a block joiner for connecting the beams and the blocks together. These make it easy to build a complex structures quickly. And don't forget this pick. It helps to connect RoboKey to the model, providing a secure and a stable base for your projects. Next, to stabilize the model, we also have two full bushes. Finally, we have these rubber bands to add additional functionality to our models. With all these amazing components, you can let your creativity run wild. From building robots to smart devices, the RoboKey kit has everything. You need to bring your ideas to life. So what are you waiting for? Let's start building and see what amazing things we can create together.